Hi guys, welcome to this video inside uh, a BMW E46. This is uh, um, the 330 CD diesel version, 204 brake horsepower, um, six speed. Um, it's got a few little problems, as you can imagine, they all have at this sort of point in their age. Um, so, first off, got a gear knob, just comes off in your hand, lovely. Uh, that should be an easy fix, just get one of them that actually stays on uh, with a six speed rather than a five. Um, electric mirrors, they don't seem to be working for some reason. Um, nothing going on now. So, that could be a fuse, could be something a bit more involved, we don't know. Um, we've got a glove box, for some reason that's not opening. Um, I'll go around the car afterwards so we can see what's what. Um, it just generally needs a, a tidy up really. It's um, looking a bit tired and a bit neglected. So um, inside the cab, they're the major issues at the moment. Gear knob, electric mirror's not working and uh, access to the glove box. So a few other little issues to look out for. Um, when you're inside the cab is make sure your airbag light isn't on can be a common fault with these and obviously MOT failure as well um, temperature gauge make sure it's sitting bang central right in the middle uh, if it's not like on this one um, could be a thermostat I don't know uh, some other sort of issue obviously going on now um, any second hand car look at the wear and tear on the steering wheel look at the condition of your pedals your seats these seats always look at the wear and tear on the bolsters uh, check the electrics make sure they're working check your windows check the roof um, the uh, direct skid control DSC button uh, obviously make sure that goes on and off um, otherwise it can be obviously another problem um, but yeah just check everything whenever you go around a car look at the whole condition uh, windscreen wipers screen wash the whole lot all the lights put the lights on um, check the pixels on the LEDs on the back uh, the window alignment especially on the convertibles um, when the windows are all going up normally the rear quarters can be a common problem where it just misaligns um, it's quite annoying but this one seems okay on that that particular part Oh yeah, the ceiling, the uh, the lining on the ceiling, make sure it's all nice and tight, not hanging down, because uh, obviously if they're hanging down then they can get caught, um, and that could lead for other problems. Speakers, yes, check the speakers. Um, door speakers tend to blow, so uh, obviously it sounds quite nasty. Um, so always check all the sound system, going all round all four corners. Um, and check in the, the fade and the balance from side to side. Cruise control, check your cruise control. Make sure that goes on and off when you're on your test drive. Um, obviously it's a nice function to have. So, the beloved mirrors, here we can see ignition's on. Um, switched across, driver's side, and nothing. Nothing at all, both dead. Passenger side, nothing. Glove box, won't open. Tried the key in it, the obvious, but no, still won't have it. All the way around, don't know what's happened to that. Uh, and the gear knob, obviously an easy fix. Just get a new, new knob that actually stays on there and bash it in place. A um, little bit of tidying up on the, the plastic there, may need to replace that, uh, not too sure as of yet. Um, the leather, I try and bring that up with a little bit of a restore, get the right colour. Someone's obviously had a go already and didn't do a very good job of it. So whenever you're buying any vehicle, always check, see if you've got locking wheel nuts and stuff like that. And uh, have a look underneath, just to see if you've got any water leaks or other corrosion um, obviously some of the later cars don't come with a spare this one's got the spare in there so that's okay the battery cover looks like that's been broken um, but obviously that's where your battery is same as the 5 series so 
whole your toolkit. I mean, you can't always expect to get these intact when 15 years old, but let's have a look at this one, let's see what we got. Not too bad. There you go, there's your locking wheel nut. Two spanners, that's quite a good one to be honest with you. So when you open the doors on the convertible, they should just drop down a smidge. You see when it goes back in, it just pops back up. Um, make sure that works, otherwise it won't sit correctly. 